Hi, and welcome to I'm Hooked, your look inside the Astros AA affiliate, the Corpus Christi Hooks. More than half of Corpus Christi's population is Hispanic. With a thriving Latin American community, the Hooks need a voice to speak to it. Enter Eduardo Becerra, a veteran Mexican League broadcaster who wears his passion for the game on his sleeve. Right-handed pitcher Aaron West started the season in the Hooks rotation, but after just four starts, he was asked to move to the bullpen. Michael Coffin explains how West's exceptional work in relief led to an unexpected phone call. Strength coach Mark Spadavecchia breaks down his job in simple terms. We try to improve player performance, um, maximize individual player potential, and aggressively prevent injury. But those goals are more easily stated than accomplished in a sport where there's a game nearly every night and injuries come into play. We try to take into a lot of things into account, like the travel, player recovery. We preach lifetime habits like eating right and rest. Athletic trainer Grant Hufford says his day starts with hours of treatments and stretching to get players ready for that night's game. Some guys need a hot pack just to warm up their shoulder. Some guys just need a massage to you know, get the blood flow to the muscles. Whatever issues arise, Hufford says honesty is key. I always tell them at the beginning of the year, you know, if you come to me early and let me know what's going on, we can treat you and get you back out, out on the field. You might miss one day rather than a week. There are some guys that are a lot more open than others. Uh, some guys you gotta look at signs if they're holding something funny or if there's anything different with their running. On top of keeping the hooks on the field, Hufford and Spadavecchia are charged with keeping the players in shape from March through September. Well, we try to keep the reps at a certain range where you keep their strength and keep their power. You try to go as heavy as you can, but you try to keep the reps low and you don't try to really burn yourself out too much. Spadavecchia and most of the players named outfielder John Kemmer as the strongest player on the team. I broke my jaw my, uh, my sophomore year. I lost a lot of weight because I was kind of a chubby kid. And then I kind of didn't really want to get fat again, so I decided I was going to work out a little bit more, and I kind of fell in love with working out. In addition to lifting weights, stretching is key to keeping players healthy. And there's a certain point of flexibility that you want to have to prevent injury, so we always look at lifting through the full range of motion, not limiting reps, and trying to get strong through a shorter range of motion. Danry Vazquez notes that outfielders need to be ready to go from a standstill to a dead sprint at the crack of the bat. we got to be stretch, uh, stay healthy and be stretching every day and try to, be, try to stay warm to go to the outfield because it's a tough job when, when you got to run all the time. You got to be ready to, to explode, to, to run. But one of the biggest in-season adversaries, bus travel. Our shortest trip here is two and a half hours to, to San Antonio, but most of the time we're on the bus five to seven hours. We might have played the night before and we're traveling all night and you know, those muscles will tighten up. We gotta just uh, stay focused after, after, the, after a long road trip and try to be awake and try to do warm stuff. That way we can feel better to the game. First up, Corpus Christi hosted the Texas League's marquee event of the summer, the 79th edition of the league's Midsummer Classic. The Hooks featured seven South Division All-Stars. The Hooks contingent was joined by players, coaches, and executives from around the Texas League in Corpus Christi June 29th and 30th. The festivities kicked off with the All-Star Gala at the Texas State Aquarium. We got an opportunity to talk to some of the guys that you usually don't talk to, uh, actually from the opposing team. Uh, and it was just, it was, it was a good touch. Game day began with Fan Fest early in the afternoon, an event that included both teams signing autographs, games, music, and more. Hooks Director of Sales and Marketing, Andy Stevens, says the afternoon activities served as a thank you to the Hooks faithful. Fan Fest was developed by a lot of our staff members. Um, they wanted to give back to our fans, have something free and fun and interactive for our fans to be a part of um, before the game. Once the on-field events got underway, it didn't take long for hometown fans to have something to cheer about as Tyler White won the home run derby. It feels great to do it in front of the great fans here and uh, just come out here to have a good time and that's what I did and just got lucky and got into a groove. The All-Star game didn't go quite as well for the home team with Jorge Bonifacio's long ball lifting the North Division to a win. Tulsa skipper Razor Shines, who managed the North Division, says Bonifacio was deserving of the MILB Top Star Award. He had a, a two-run homer to give us the lead in the seventh or eighth inning, one of the two. And um, yeah, that's, that's a huge hit. Broke the game open for us. From start to finish, fans, players, and executives say the event was a success. You have a lot of moving parts with these, these games. We, we plan this event 
um, basically throwing everything we can at it. You know, we think of it not a baseball game, but an actual show. It's not just a game. It's about entertaining our fans for three to four hours, and that's I think we get that across to them. The All-Star game was special because it was, for me, because I got to manage it and we were here. We were at we were at our park and it was at Corpus Christi. I thought it was tremendous. I thought everything was ran properly. The people here put on a good show. I mean, it was a lot of stuff to do. And in the game, it was just a showcase of talent.